18 is learning from sources and this is news just coming in that the CBI is carrying out searches at the residence of former DPIIT Secretary Ramesh Abhishek in Delhi. My colleague Abhimanyu Sharma is joining us on the phone with more details. Abhimanyu, what is uh, the CBI investigating? Uh, it seems that an FIR has been registered. Uh, he was uh, working with several important companies as well. Uh, do we know what these allegations are about? Uh, well, uh, this is primarily a disproportionate assets case uh, under which uh, these raids are currently being carried out and uh, CBI is trying to gather more evidence and possibly gather proceeds of the crime uh, to further their investigation in this ongoing case. Uh, he, uh, and the ED also was conducting investigations against Ramesh Abhishek over the issue of disproportionate assets. Uh, now, he had also, apart from serving as the DPIT secretary in the past, he had also uh, served as the head of the forward market commission, uh, which uh, which was involved in the NSEL spot exchange fiasco. Uh, so clearly several issues are being investigated at, the, uh, at this point of time. And there was a complaint which was lost before the Lokpal and the Central Vigilance Commission that he had favoured as many as 16 entities um, in, in, a way, in a way which was unbecoming or off his stature uh, as, uh, as a government official. So clearly several serious allegations are being leveled and there, uh, there is also a charge of quid pro quo post his retirement uh, since many of these companies now also feature as his clients and have contributed to his income, which has been found extremely disproportionate to his known sources of income. Uh, so several charges being uh, currently investigated All right. will come out as part of the raid. Okay, Abhimanyu. Thank you very much for joining us with that uh, preliminary update. This is a story that we will be tracking very, very closely. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Center. More news and updates continue right here.